If one of the world's biggest bankers comments on Bitcoin a couple of days ago didn't get you to look up after J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon said he didn't give an S, you can fill in the blanks, about crypto and Bitcoin, well, you need to hear what he just said. As geopolitical tensions continue to weigh on the Dow at this hour, Dimon now saying that Europe could be a source of sovereign debt crisis, singling out Italy adding that there will be, quote, catastrophic events if Italy decides to leave the Eurozone. Why would he even say that? Well, it boils down to a government that right now is very nationalistic and proposing Italy's massive budget. It's already in two trillion euros of debt. Couple that with multi-billion euro campaign promises like lowering taxes and guaranteeing wages for the poor plus lowering, not raising the retirement age. Now Italy's populists are insisting their plans to ramp up government spending will actually help prevent a recession. Well, the banker who perhaps better than anyone else might see the situation most clearly is Jean-Yves Fillon. He's CEO of BNP Paribas USA. BNP has 14,000 pairs of boots on the ground here in the U.S. They employ 14,000 14, people, but they have a presence all over the Eurozone, including Italy. We welcome him in a Fox Business exclusive. Uh, Luigi Diamo, who's part of the um, anti-euro crowd of the government in Italy, has said, quote, this euro will be finished. I am sure that weighed on Jamie Dimon and his mind. Talk to our viewers. You have a separate and different understanding of the eurozone because of BNP. Tell us what you see there. Well, thank you for having me, Liz. Uh, uh, pleasure to be here. Uh, there is no question that the concerning aspect is the uh, uh, budget deficit and the high level of debt and the fact that the uh, revised budget proposal was uh, denied by the Commission mm -hmm. and is, uh, is something to be really uh, watched carefully. But the, and the Italian government is saying we don't care. Uh, being in the Eurozone, knowing, having people in the field as well in Italy, mm -hmm. I think it's important to highlight uh, other factors. Uh, the first is that Italy has actually a very strong corporate ecosystem particularly in the northern part of Italy, and with a strong ability to export. Mm -hmm. If you look at the uh, uh, current account, you know, trade of Italy, it's actually in surplus. You're and kidding. I, totally, and which highlights actually this, the capacity of their corporate mm -hmm. uh, fabric to be uh, exporting quite actively. And uh, interestingly, while the net debt is quite high, mm -hmm. no question about it, Italy benefits from one of the lowest indebtedness per household. Then uh, uh, measures are being taken. Italy is an important driver for the Eurozone going forward, Third particularly post Brexit, there, yeah. and uh, that's, uh, um, that, that's a situation that has to be taken carefully. Let's bring it back here. We just got a blowout jobs report, a gain of 250,000 jobs. You've been working and living here for 30 years. Tell us how you see the U.S. economy through today's prism. Well, exactly as you just described it. It's never been that strong. Whether you look at GDP, employment, uh, um, uh, um, there is some inflation, but uh, uh, going forward, uh, wages uh, as so well. So it's never been this strong. It's never been this strong. And, and the, 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 the period of expansion has never been that long as well. Uh, then your next point is probably about volatility. Mm -hmm. And um, I think what creates volatility is many factors, but one of them is more like the forward-looking uh, prediction of the corporate space, which is more reserved. Uh, uh, because some might have might feel that we've gone through a full cycle mm -hmm. and the, the, the fiscal stimulus that has been uh, quite a, a, a positive uh, a year ago is you know gradually fading away yeah what are you telling your clients about interest rates rising I'm sure they want to invest how do they square it with what we know will probably be another rate hike by the Fed in December definitely we see the Fed hiking at least two times you know December and in the first or second huh. quarter okay. which by the way makes sense when you look at the inflation trend and when you look at the wages we just discussed. Uh, um, you know, being one of the largest derivative houses in the world, we are well equipped when clients want to speak about hedging or risk management protections to uh, support them across currencies, equities and commodities. BNP Paribas is quite the interesting bank and you get the business right here in the U.S. 14,000 employees, Johnny Filion. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Good to see you.